Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who broke God's law. 1 John chapter 2 verse 3 And we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandment. If, if someone claims I know God but doesn't obey God's commandment, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how complete they are, they love him. That is how we know we are living in him. So you can see that simply going to church, simply being a Christian, none of those things will save you. According to Christ, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, he said that only those that do the will of his Father, who is in heaven, will be allowed into the kingdom of heaven. And that those who did not keep the laws of his Father, they will be asked to go away and he will deny them that he never knew them. Matthew chapter 7 verse 23, he will say to them, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who broke God's law. How do you know the will of his Father? To do them and be able to be allowed into the kingdom of heaven. You can find the will of his Father in the book of Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. That's where you find the will of his Father. In Romans chapter 2 verse 13, we are told that simply hearing the law does not justify us, but keeping the law is what justifies us in the sight of the Most High. That is what makes us righteous. Keeping the law is what makes us righteous in the sight of our Heavenly Father. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, Christ tells us that he never came to abolish the law but he came to fulfill the writings of the prophets that was written about him in the book of Isaiah 53 and so on and so forth. And he goes on to say that whoever breaks the least of the commandment and teaches others to do so will be the least in the kingdom. But whoever keeps the least of the commandment and teach, the, the list of the laws and the commandment and teaches, uh, and teaches others to do so will be great in the kingdom. Now here's a question for you. If the laws has been done away with, why will Yeshua, Christ, our Savior, why will he be telling us that whoever breaks the least of the commandment and teaches others to do so will be, will be the least in the kingdom? Why will he say that whoever keeps the least of the commandments will be the great in the kingdom? Why will he say in Matthew chapter 7, 21 to 23 that he will tell many people who are today thinking that they know God that he will tell them to go away that he never knew them, he will deny them. If the laws has been done away with, why will he say that it's those that keeps God's law? They are the ones that he will allow into the, into the kingdom of heaven. In Revelation 22, 14. Christ makes it very clear in Revelation 22, 14 that those that keep the law, or those that keep the commandments are the ones that will be allowed to eat from the tree of life. And they will be the ones that will be allowed to come into the kingdom of heaven. The evil one, Satan, has lied to us. He has deceived us. And that's exactly what we were being warned about in 1 John chapter 3 from verse 4 all the way down. 1 John chapter 3 verse 7, we are warned to be careful not to be deceived by Satan who will try to deceive us into disregarding the laws and the commandment of the Most High. And he has succeeded in deceiving most of the world. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 says that Satan has deceived the world. Most people are deceived into believing that we are no longer under the law and they totally misunderstand what Paul was writing. If Paul was teaching that we are no longer under the law, why will Paul say in Romans chapter 
2 verse 13 that hearing the law does not make us right but keeping the law is what justifies us if the law was done away with and we are no longer under the law why will paul say that we can only get our righteousness by keeping the law romans 2 13 why will christ tell the young rich man in matthew chapter 19 that if he wants to have internal life that he should keep the laws why will christ tell his his disciples and the multitude in matthew chapter 23 verse 1 to 3 why will he tell his disciples and the multitude to keep every single law that the scribes and the pharisees are going to be teaching them the fact is that the satan have deceived us into believing that we're no longer under the law we don't have to keep the law it's a deception and that deception is a deception we were warned in in first john chapter 3 verse 7 all the way down friend it's time to wake up it's time to read the book of leviticus numbers deuteronomy exodus that's where you're going to find the will of our creator just like his son says in matthew chapter 7 that those who do the will of his father are the ones that will be allowed into the kingdom of heaven when he was speaking this there was no new testament he was talking about the commandment back in leviticus numbers deuteronomy and exodus that's what he was referring to that's the laws he was referring to and he said that every single one of those laws will remain in effect until heaven and earth passes away as you're reading this if you're reading this that means that the heaven and earth is still in existence it's time to go back to the commandment it's time to go back to those books and read it and observe every single thing that you read there just like romans chapter 2 verse 13 says simply reading it simply hearing it does not do you any good or do me any good keeping those laws is what makes us right inside of the most high and according to christ in revelation chapter 22 14 those that keep his laws and commandments are the ones that will be allowed into the kingdom of heaven the bottom line is that the evil one have deceived us he has lied to us and a lot of people are going to be surprised on the judgment day mostly christians will be surprised because they will be torn away they will be asked to depart from him that he does not know them because they broke god's law so he said in matthew chapter 7 21 to 23 it's time to wake up it's time to go back and keep those laws